Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hi, I'm Jess. If you're new, hi, I'm Jess. Today we are doing something I think exciting. Um, MK Beauty brought out a loose mineral powder and a liquid glow highlighting thing and we're going to test the two out today and see if they're any good. I haven't used them yet. Um, I got them half price at Woolies. This is what the packaging looks like. I need my glasses because I can't read shit without my glasses. It's a thing. So give your skin a weightless airbrushed effect with a luminous finish. MK Beauty Mineral Powder Shine Free Foundation contains 100% micro mineral ingredients to deliver flawless breathable coverage. The skin correcting powder blends seamlessly, effectively uh, to effectively blur imperfections while offering luminous natural finish. Alrighty then. Uh, quick facts. Long wearing powder, 100% micro mineral ingredients, correct skin tone, won't clog pores or irritate the skin. Provides a luminous finish. Directions, dip brush into cap. Gently tap excess powder off the brush and apply to your skin in light circular motions. Repeat to build coverage in areas as needed. So, I've got the shade Classic Ivory. It's meant to be a shine free foundation powder. But yeah, I'm excited. That's a little highlighting thing, liquid glow thing. It says skin perfecter. I mean, I got. They only have one shade. It's shade sun kissed. I've already swatched it on my Instagram, but I think it's gonna be a little, a little bit too dark. But it's like really pigmented. But I'm going to apply a little bit and then apply foundation. Glowy. Apparently you can wear it on its own, under foundation, under this foundation, on top of foundation. Oh no, there's a glow. I can see, yep, I see it. I'm gonna add with my foundation. Okay, so I didn't add too, too much foundation. I'm gonna add a little bit more of this glow stuff. Cause I like a dewy, glowy base. It's so pretty. Um, I paid $7 half price on at Woolies, so $14. Yep, you can see the shine. It's actually really, really pretty. I thought it was going to be too dark for me, but it's actually not when it's sheared out. Yeah, you can definitely see that and it sets down. I quite like that. I like it a lot. All right, so for this bad boy, we're going to apply it with an MK Beauty. I was gonna say, say sponge, it's not a sponge. Powder brush. You come with one when you, there's a stick up. Oop. Always satisfying when that happens. Um, all right, it looks light enough, I'm hoping. And then in circular motions. Oh, that's nice. Can you? See the difference like that still got redness that's actually corrected the redness that's actually a really nice powder
Now it said that you can actually wear a sheer to full coverage, so, so I do like full coverage. That's obviously like no or minimal coverage. It's building up really nicely. And it feels really silky smooth. And you can still see the um, liquid illuminator underneath. I quite like that. I'll apply it to the other cheek and I'll come back. It does actually blur out imperfections. I don't know how it does that. And it feels super silky smooth for a powder. And I've learned too in the process of trying this that even though it says circular motions, I still find kind of a padding technique is better for applying, especially if you want the fuller coverage. But that's really pretty. I really like that. So I'm going to now, I have the Emco Beauty Shimmer Brick Blush. It's a really pretty, apparently a dupe for the NARS orgasm. I don't have the NARS orgasm because I'm cheap, but yellow. Um, I do love me some blush, but that color's actually pretty damn good. And I actually love how it looks. Mm. Going to use the same brush. Obviously going for a very glowy look today, because why not? I need a different I think that one's too big and fluffy. This one is still a Enco brush. That's pretty. I think this is great for an everyday type of look if you go to school, work and the likes. I'm going to apply mascara, come back, give you my final thoughts and that'll be the little video. Overall, I really, really like this powder. I'm surprised at how much I like it. I've tried the nude. What brand is it? Nude by Nature brand. I'll do it. I'll link it somewhere down below so that you can check out that video. Um, I actually like this one better. It's a very lightweight and it really does blur out imperfections and correct skin tone. Like it looks really smoothing. I didn't need to use a concealer, which I normally do. It'll be great for like running errands and that kind of thing on a no makeup kind of makeup day. I really like this. Um, this. I really like, I thought it was going to be too dark for me, but it's not. It's actually quite glowy. You can still see it under and over the foundation. I only used a minimal amount of foundation as well, not my full amount that I used because I wanted to try out this. That. Um, but yeah, really happy with this because I wasn't expecting it to sit down. It doesn't feel tacky at all. Didn't a streak or go weird. And the blush. Not as pigmented as, as I like, but still it's quite pretty. Um, I like a glowy blush. But yeah, these two were the standout. Let me know in the comments below if you're going to pick up these. And I'll see you guys in another video soon.